guys? Seven. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, The Bulletproof Life. My name is Ronki Odeumumi and I'm delighted to have you here. As you can see, I have a guest today, Olivia Farah. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. And Olivia is going to be talking to us about her experience with saving as a six-year-old, how she's putting money in her money bag, how she's making that paper, making that money from now, and what she's planning to do with it. So, Olivia, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so we, I can see that you have a money box. Do you want to show everybody watching your money box? Okay, that is nice. So, um, tell me, do you have money in your money box? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. What are you going to do with the money in your money box? I'm going to save it for special days. Special days? Like what? Like Christmas, um, Easter, all those special days. I see. Is it very difficult saving, putting money in your money box? Well, putting money in my money box. Like, is it difficult saving? Do you struggle? Yeah, I do. Why? Um, because it's really hard because you want to buy something, but you need to, but um, it, you can't because that you might take all the money and, and buy for there. So I have to put it all in there and wait for something else. I see. So it requires a bit of discipline, doesn't it? Yeah. Let me see. So when are you planning to take money out of this money box? Well, on Christmas. Really. really? Yes. What are you going to use it for? For presents. Am I getting something, do you think? Yeah, maybe. Maybe? Imagine. Maybe. Maybe I'll get something. So you learned to play Monopoly during the summer holidays, didn't you? Yes. Tell me about that. Um, well, um, my mommy and daddy taught me how to play Monopoly. So um so you need like you have money and you have a dice and you have a silver statue so much silver statues and um yeah there's a dice and then you roll it and it's just like a board game so you roll it and then if it's free you do free 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 steps okay. and if you're on a house um you you um you will get you will get that card of that name, but on the board game, um, the the house's name is on the board, and um. So the house becomes your own. Well, um, we get the card of the house. Okay. Yeah. So what can you do with the house once you have the card? Because that um, so if someone goes on there, you have to take their money because it's their house, it's not theirs. It's not theirs, it's yours. Yeah. So you're making money on the house. And did you like that? Yes, I did. So, um, Olivia, what house did you buy that you liked a lot? Bond Street. You bought Bond Street and you liked it. Somebody likes good stuff, doesn't she? So what does Monopoly teach you about money? It teaches me to save things and it teaches me um don't keep um don't let let anyone get your houses don't let anyone get your house okay yeah. and um don't share like their money with them because they have so much money you don't have any money i see it's like someone goes in your house they have to pay rent interesting so you're generally becoming the money guru aren't you yes saving money your money bank playing Monopoly. That's really nice. Well done, Olivia. It's been nice having you on the channel today, Olivia Farah. It would be lovely to have you again sometimes in the future. Maybe after Christmas when you've given me a present, I can have you back here. <laughs> so you take care of yourself and bye-bye. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm hoping having Olivia Farah on the channel has been a lovely experience for you. She really wanted to come on and tell you guys about our money bank and how she feels about playing Monopoly and learning about money. The purpose of today's interview is to show you that children can understand money and they're never too young to learn about money. They're never too young for you to start teaching them simple principles of money, of spending, of saving, 
and helping them learn the discipline that's required to save. As you can see, she said earlier that saving can be quite difficult because she wants to buy something and then she can't buy it. She has to wait because if she buys it, then there's not going to be money left for the special days. So that, that in a child's way is a perfect explanation of why we save. We save for special things. We deprive ourselves of day-to-day extras so that we can have money for the special days so i hope you enjoyed that mother daughter interview i hope you had fun with us even though somebody says maybe i might just get christmas present i mean let's see if tooth fairy is still going to keep visiting at this rate but you know it's been nice hanging out with you in this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe press the red button on your right and don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications whenever I share a video. Until my next video, you take care of yourself and keep living that bulletproof life. Bye-bye.